Welcome to an example uh, derivation in the physics derivation graph. Um, my name is Ben, and I'll be your command line uh, narrator today. So I'm in the uh, physics derivation graph source code in version 4, and I'm going to run the interactive user prompt Python script. I'm going to start a new derivation, and the name of the derivation will be another example. Um, because it's a new derivation, it's prompting me for an initial expression, which will be c equals e. And then, so it shows what the derivation graph is so far for our set of inputs that we've provided. And we'll add another step, which is to add x to both sides. And then we'll work from the existing expression, and we'll add d. And the output we have to specify is going to be c plus d equals e plus d. All right, that looks good. And then we're going to add another step, which will be to declare a new expression. And then the LaTeX for that will be n plus m equals x, y, z. So as we can see, these are two separate graphs because we haven't connected them yet. All right, I'm going to substitute x for y. And the input is going to be something that we already have which is this one. And the feed is going to be m. Uh, sorry, we'll do n first, n and d. And the output, then we have to specify, it's going to basically be d plus m equals x, y, z. Oops, sorry, a little eager there. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to provide the LaTeX, and then we'll provide the actual LaTeX. So now you can see visually we've gotten a little bit more complicated, but still we're just declaring the initial expression. We're going to substitute in n for d, and we get back out this new expression. So we're going to do that again. Um, x for y, and we'll provide the. We'll use an existing expression, which is going to be this one. And this time we're going to replace m with c. And then the output will be d plus c, x, y, and z. So that gets drawn. Now the graph is, as you can see, we're, we're ready to connect now, so we can connect up this expression and this expression with a new operator. Now it's going to be substitute left hand side of expression x and expression y. And we're going to use the existing expressions. So we'll use this as our one expression. And then we're going to need another input, so we're going to use this one. And then the output we're going to have to specify because that doesn't already exist. And that'll be e plus d equals x, y, z. So that'll take a while to draw, but then we'll have a fully connected graph of the entire derivation with all the steps. So a little bit hard to see, so I'll, I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, so do we first started with declaring the initial expression, and then we added d to both sides. And then, a little bit confusingly, we declared a different expression, n plus m equals x, y, z. 
we replaced one variable with another and then did that again for a second expression d equals d plus c and then we were ready to substitute that combine it into our final expression so the last thing I'm going to do is declare a final expression which is this e plus d just to, to make very clear what the inputs and outputs were to this derivation so one last step which is declare final expression and we're going to use the the last thing that we did which was uh, e plus d equals xyz so that's this one So it takes a little while to draw now, but the output is, it's very explicit visually about what the inputs and outputs were to this derivation, because the, the two, um, the initial expression is declared here, and then there's another initial expression down at the bottom that we have to declare, and it's very explicit about the output, which is this e plus d equals x, y, z being declared as a final expression. So all the, all the steps here are very, um, pedantic, we'll say, um, but checkable by a computer algebra system. So now that we're done, the last input I'm going to make is a exit derivation. So I'm going to change this to zero. And then it writes everything to file because we're happy with what we have so far. One last time, that's the, the picture that we generated, and we're back to the main menu. So we'll exit, and thanks for watching.